Good morning. So, yes, uh, yesterday, yes, it was yesterday. Seems so long ago. Um, I finished off um, getting placeholders working on. Um, so that's these little, um, little bounded uh, snippets as such. They can go in your snippets um, to do various things like insert the clipboard or date or another snippet and things like that. Or say where the cursor should end up when you're doing auto expansion. Uh, now I need to actually use that. Now at the moment it's mainly just in test code as such. We've got the placeholder stuff, but we need to do something with it. Um, oh, ah, I forgot to, I just noticed I forgot to implement that. That's right. Oh, okay. I need to sort that out. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's do a quick test for that and then fix it. So, um, let's do... Um, we will update one of these skeleton things to have things in it. Let's see. Um, let's change the name of this one. We'll call it because um, I'm not using it yet. It's just there to make sure recursion doesn't go down to it. Um, what should we call this? Uh, we'll just call it escape test. Um, and we will what should we put in here? We will have something like um, you can no. yeah placeholder looks like this and then we should have dollar escape the dollar um, now that's interesting that it's doing that so I might have to do The other form of thing in go here. That's interesting. Okay. Um, at date. Okay. Now, yeah. That's interesting. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to do that in here, which is not, that's not great. Um, 
does go have a string syntax which does not um, that does not enable escapes so I can just do like a war. Is strings in that list? It's not. Okay, basic types. Hmm. Okay, let's look at um, really. Is it difficult to find these things in here? Where's what you need is like a big search thing that gives me a categorized list of stuff. Okay, let's just do the Google thing then. I guess that's where you want. All right, go lang strings. Let's see what that comes back with. Let's see what that has. Back ticks. Right, okay. I forgot about that. Back tick. Oh yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that did cause me problems because I use a back tick for... Uh, my, it's my preferred way of doing... Um, like the trigger key on um, snippets. Okay, so that means I can do that. And that, in theory. We'll see. So, uh, escape test. Hopefully, that's going to work. Um, and I will just here. I will do escape test. So that it goes from a little bit further than that test. Right. So. Right, that small train should not break anything. Uh, 
Um, let's just do this one here. So we've got placeholder stuff. That's fine. Okay. And now I need to write a test that uses that escape test. And it should fail the first time I use it. Um, so we will take Take that for reference. And then the placeholders. Um, we will take do a super simple one. Just this bit here. So we are going to how am I even using that at the moment actually thinking about it? Yeah. I didn't actually need to make that change above. That's interesting, it copied that in. And do that for the moment. Consistency. So we're going to do that. It's going to do. So that should be nice and simple now. What I predict ah, uh, that might pass. Hmm, yeah, what I actually want is this, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, what should happen is that when we expand the snippet, this body here, this dollar backslash dollar should turn into dollar dollar. Um, it's just a way of saying, look, don't expand this snippet <laughs> effectively. <laughs> don't use this dollar dollar as the delimiter for a placeholder. Just show me dollar dollar. Um, and that's not going to work. And that will, should get failure now. Yeah. So we're expecting... Um, Placeholder looks like blah, but all we got back was the raw 
stuff there because we're not doing the escape yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do that right at the end in the sea line, um, sea line in the Valor Code. Let's go double check and do that kind of outside of the expansion. And I probably probably should do it just as the last thing. Got to be careful though because of um, the recursion nature. Uh, so. Um, so we've got date, snippet, collapse, <laughs> collapse, escaped placeholder delimiter. That's a good name. So what am I doing? So I'm taking the body in, um, and the, yes, the cursor. That's the thing that needs to change position. That's what I'll have to put in my test, actually, um, as a second check. So it comes in, does the thing. Place of delimiter escaped. So, body, so if I find an escaped one, I find it again. So, not even I could do a curse, but anyway. yeah, body equals. All right, okay, so I'm just swapping them out. And then decrementing carrot offset by the difference between the size of the escaped version and the normal version of the delimiter, which is always going to be one, but if that were to change in the future, I guess that helps. Um, it's funny looking at code that I've, I wrote years ago now and realizing it's not too bad. <laughs> Could be better, but at least it's okay-ish. It's taking into consideration things that I'd have to think again about now. Um, so yeah, and then it just does another check, basically, looking to see if there's still any more um, escaped delimiters. Keeps going, and then returns out, eventually. Okay. I guess I could just recode that. Let's go. I think it'd probably be okay. The only thing is when to use it. Um, let's just take that code. Um, but I think the issue is when to use it. Yeah, we expand and then collapse. Uh, 
Yeah, you do need to do it outside of the recursion. There needs to be a final, a final fix up. Can't can't risk doing it inside the recursion of the expansion of a snippet and a snippet and a snippet. Have to be careful about that. So, um, and where else do we do it? Yeah, we do it during the expansion there as well. Yeah, so this is during the copy window. Um, sorry, search and paste window. And this is during the auto expansion code. So, yeah, interesting, I think. I think we'll have to be a little bit careful here. I think in the end we'll be putting in here, which is going to be used by the expansion and it's going to be the way in basically, but we haven't got that far yet. He says, I could just test that touch thing. No, let's do a popular. Just a little test. So we'll add a function here. And I'll just paste in that and then I'll just fix it up. So um, we're going to have a function. And it will take, I think it'll take the body. Okay, so offset. We have a diff which is place all to deliver to escaped length minus placeholder delimiter length. And then we, yeah, we can do the same. We can do an index. So 
So something like strings. index placeholder delimiter escaped in the body minus one for the output that's great now we're going to do a while loop when there isn't actually a while loop um, and we need to return two things here. That I can do that down here. My number, and then now I'm going to try and remember the while loop syntax. It's slightly different, isn't it? Something like it is just like for. index greater than or equal to zero and then then I need to do the substitution which is a pain I don't have like a substring thing do we what have, what have I been doing I uh, split it and join it again. That's the whole point of the for each loop. Um. I'm going to look up and see if there's a better way of doing a substring in Go because <laughs> how did that even work there? <laughs> Galang. See what we got. Yes. How do I? Oh yeah, I could do that. I could slice it out. Actually, I want this That's what I care, isn't it?
Mm. Replace, of course. I forgot there was a place. Right. Definitely need some more coffee this morning. So I could actually do... I wonder, can I do... When you do a place, does it give you a count? Because that would be perfect. And then I could just do a very quick. So I could do a. That looks like a first. But I can also do. Oh, hmm. That's a shame. If it told me how many replaces it did, I could just multiply that by the diff to. Update the cursor offset. <laughs> I wouldn't even have to do a full reach then. Hold on. Mm, okay. I will have to do that. Now I'm going to be careful because of the cursor position. So what I need to do, I've just realized that this is actually wrong, this old, this old code. What I need to do is I know the index. Yeah, okay. All right. What we need to do here is we need to go. Um, so the body is going to be. Um, strings. Replace the body. Um, Place hard escaped with placeholder delimiter. One. Because we know we've got one, because otherwise we wouldn't have an index here. Now, if this is where it's got to change because I've got a bug there in the old code. What I'm going to do is say if the cursor offset is greater than or equal to zero and the index is less than 
or equal to no no if the index is greater than is greater than the cursor offset I know I was thinking the other way around. No. Right, and if the cursor offset is greater than or equal to the index. Is it greater than or equal to? Or was it greater than? If we've got a couple of characters say the cursor straight after the dollar escape dollar can't be on it can't be at it don't care if it's before it so if it's straight after But it has to be after the length version of it. So if the cursor offset is greater than the current index. So the length of the placeholder limiter escaped. just realized that I can do a war here so that's cleaner we know exactly what we were looking for then I hope we'll see we'll see how that goes um yeah so I've got a cursor offset somewhere in it and we found a placeholder delimiter escaped. Uh, 
and if that cursor offs that that's currently greater than length. Got say it's five. So it's five, six, seven. So it'd be five plus the length of the delimiter. Yeah, which is three. So that makes it eight. I think that's okay as the index. That should work. Because it can't be anything less. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then we basically just need to lop off the difference, which is going to be one in most cases, unless someone changes that. Or we start introducing multiple delimiters. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. So that's in theory okay. Let's do one with an offset. Placeholder looks like this. Start type in here. Oh, actually, I haven't, haven't done the thing yet. So we're going to do actually no we're not we're going to do Don't really need to do this one here, but I'm just going to do it just for the sake of making sure it's consistent and it's used. So this variation should end up with some different offset, which is going to be at the end. And then This one ends like that. Actually, let's put something after to make it obvious. Let's do something like this. Just that we've got something. Okay. Uh, 
and I have no idea what length that is. Sixty. Sixty. That wasn't sixty, surely. Right. Fifteen. Wow, okay. So that's sixty there. Sixty one. And we want to be here. So that's sixty two. I think. Give that as the offset. How do we expect? I think that might be off. I might be off by a fraction there. What I can do is I'll I'll do a couple of tests. I want to actually try that to see what's going to go wrong there. Make sure that it complains. What did I do wrong? That's not working, okay. So that should work. I think I need to run a little test here. Um, let's put breakpoint here. So at the moment, that's correct. After doing the, the expand body, nothing has really changed as we expect. Then if I go into it, diff is one. It's not binding it. Okay. What did I do wrong? Got that one 
right, okay. Yay, yay, yay. Should have known that. Definitely, definitely, definitely need more coffee. It's going to be one of those days. Right. That's more like it. Okay, so the first test passes now. And then the one that we expect to fail is failing. Because we've commented out the collapse. Um, so we're looking for this. Uh, but we're getting the that version which is fine. So it's, ex it's got rid of the uh, cursor. So let's um, let's find out what the cursor position actually is. Right, okay. So I think I will be correct then with my 62. Because we've got two delimiters um, and just a slash is going to be replaced in each. So I think the 62 should be correct once we put the collapse back in. In theory, we'll see. So let's do that. Let's take that back home so I don't forget any future. Um, yeah, we should get a pass now. We do. Cool. Smart. Okay. Um, that's great. So we've now tested that. delimiter gets removed. We've tested that when the delimiter gets removed and we have a cursor position somewhere in the string, that also gets compensated for and gets pulled back by, in this case, two. Um, The other test I want to quickly do there is this. so while I was doing that cursor offset stuff, I noticed that there was probably a bug in the existing Vala code. Um, so here, um, if I do take out this stuff. Yeah, so if I take out this bit and put it at the beginning, The cursor offset now. Is one uh, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. It should remain 20. The 
because it's before any of the delimiters get changed. And I think in the current Vala code, it probably gets changes regardless. Okay, so that passed. Let's just make sure that fails now. Oh, sorry. Doesn't change when I don't escape. So if I comment out that code there, it shouldn't make any difference. Oh, well, it will actually in this case because I didn't, didn't change the... I didn't comment out the actual string test. So we know the string is going to break at the moment, so don't test that. Yeah, pass. Good. No, right, that's good. All right, that's good. So let's do a little comment here. Test that. Cursor position, cursor offset. Not changed. If escaped delimiters all right. Okay. Oh, time. Didn't realize the time. I've got to go. Just that cursor offset is changed. If any escaped limiters before it. Okay. That's good. Right. Um, quick run. Make that sure that's fine. Okay. Commit, and then I gotta go. Get on with my day. Um. Enable. Escaping of this order delimiter. Cool. All right. That's me done. Um, and then yeah, so tomorrow I will actually start using that now. Um, fix that escaping thing in. So, okay. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching. Um, and you take care.